Hello, this is Anne-Marie Concepcion, co-host of InDesignSecrets.com, with another great tip for our YouTube channel. And this tip is for those of you who have recently updated to CC 2019, which is the current version as I'm recording this, and are flummoxed because it appears that Adobe took away the control panel. That is the toolbar that used to go across the top with all sorts of handy dandy uh, commands and menus that changed based on what you have selected. And instead, they want you to use this thing called the properties panel, which does the same kind of thing depending on what you have selected. Like right here, I selected a text frame. We see text frame options, but it doesn't quite have everything that the control panel has. And I have seen people post uh, online in forums why did they take away the control panel? The properties panel is much more clunky. Well, uh, they didn't take away the control panel. I'm gonna show you how to get it back and what actually happened in this video. So what happened is that you, or if you are one of these people, let's put it that way, what probably happened is that you were using the essentials workspace. That's a workspace is a uh, saved configuration of open panels and toolbars. Uh, you're not going to have all 50 plus toolbars and panels open at once. So InDesign ships with just a selection of them. And they call that the essentials. You can see it says essentials right here. And what they did was they changed what is essential. They removed the control panel, which used to be in essentials, and they removed a whole bunch of other things. And instead they replace it with properties, which is kind of useful it both Photoshop and Illustrator have properties and like the control panel uh, it changes based on what you have selected um, but the control panel is not gone if you want to get it back it's sitting right there under the window menu just go to window and choose control Ta-da! there it is going across the top so you can have both the control panel and the properties panel open at once if they're they overlap quite a bit you know uh, or if you just want to go back to how essentials used to be for the previous umpteen years uh, in InDesign instead go to the workspace menu where it says essentials click and choose essentials classic <laughs> I love that like Coke classic here you go this is what essentials used to look like and now it's essentials classic uh, or of course you could go back to essentials and just close the dang properties panel and keep the control panel open. So I opened up the control panel. Now I'm dragging it out of the dock and then closing that. And maybe I want to add a couple more panels. But anyway, once you're done, then you can save that as a new workspace. One that has a control panel and just the panels that you want on the right. And to do that, go to the workspace menu here or under the window menu, go out to workspace and choose uh, new workspace, either place has the command and call it something like, you know, my essentials. Let's do that. There you go. And now it, they're saved as a workspace. And if you ever accidentally switch to essentials and then you reset essentials so that it doesn't remember how you last modified them. So here's how essentials normally looks and like, oh my goodness, what happened to my workspace? You can choose the one that you just saved, my essentials right there with your friendly control panel. So that's the tip, the control panel did not go away. They just reconfigured what the default essentials uh, workspace looks like. One last thing I should mention is that if you make this change with no documents open, then from then on, every time you start up InDesign, that workspace will be the default, my essentials, or whichever one you had chosen with no documents open. I hope you enjoyed that tip, and there are tons more uh, on our website at InDesignSecrets.com and in our Facebook group at Facebook.com slash groups slash InDesignSecrets. Hope to see you there.